just do your thing. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together a function that takes the three different sides, or the, given the three different sides of a triangle, reports what the perimeter is around the circle, around a triangle. So with that, let's go ahead and call this Java project um, perimeter of a triangle. And I'll say, let's copy this, and I'll say finish. Now, if by some chance I'm not finished when it's time to go, feel free to just go. Okay? It's all right. I'll try to post this as a tutorial. It's just practice is something that we did earlier in the class. So I'm going to create a class, and I'm going to say perimeter of a triangle. First thing you have to have is your public static void main string args square brackets and that of course is the parameter of your main function so if you write an actual function whatever is in the parentheses is called your parameter now the next thing I'm going to do is I will write a function down here um, that takes um, three sides of a triangle. So I'll say public, static, void. Actually, I'm going to return it as a double. I'm going to have it calculate the answer and return as a double. There's a lot of different ways we could do it. I'm going to do it this way. And I'll call it uh, perimeter. And it needs three parameters. It's going to need double side A, double side B, double side C. That's my first line. So the first thing I want to do is I want to say what these values are. And I'm going to use J option panes to figure out what these are. So let me declare three variables A, B, C as doubles. And then I need a temporary variable to do some calculations, so I need to say string temp. I'll say that temp is equal to j option pane dot show input dialog. I think I can clip off one of those references, speed things up a little bit. And I'll give a prompt here that says enter side A. Usually when we talk about triangles we use capital letters to represent the different sides so mathematically this looks pretty good. Now I've got what the value of A is but I do need to set it into A so to do that I need to say A is equal to temp dot parse double temp And I've got an issue here. Let me see what the problem is. Oh, excuse me. Um, this should be double, just the word double. Excuse me. There we go. So at this point, I've correctly stored the value into A. Now, this is the little trick I'm using for figuring out what side A is. So I could use the same little trick for figuring out what side B is. So I'll just change this to a B, and I'll change this to a B, and I'll go down another couple lines, and I'll just do the same thing for side C. So I now have sides A, B, and C, and it's pretty simple and straightforward. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to calculate what the perimeter is of a triangle. And that answer will be um, a double that I'm going to get back from whatever I do next inside of here. So I've got A coming in, B coming in, C coming in, so in my function I'm just going to say return whatever our, those three sides are added together. So I could just say A plus B plus C. 
Now, let's go ahead and call the function. I'll say parameter, excuse me, p is equal to, I call my function, which is parameter, and I need to go in with those three values of a, comma, b, comma, c. And you can see right now that this function call is working okay. Just for a little bit of vocabulary, whatever's in the parentheses of a function is called your parameter. The whole function is called the function or the function definition. This is called your return type. Whatever you return here must match whatever your return type is. And wherever you call that function, of course, that's called the function call. Whatever is inside the parentheses of the function call is called the argument. So you need to feel comfortable with all of that. Now, the next thing I need to do is I just need to display the parameter of my function. So to do that, I'm going to use a J option pane. And I need to say something like show message dialog parentheses. And I believe with show message dialogs, it's not even really completely necessary to convert a number to a string. Let's see if I can go ahead and get away with this. I'm going to try to display a number in a J option pane. So let's just display what P is. So this is actually what displays my output. Let's see if this all works. I'll run that. And I'll say, what are the three sides of a triangle? I'll start off with 2 and 3 and 4. If you think in your heads 2 and 3 is 5, 5 and 4 is 9, you can see that my function just successfully works. So I've got a nice program here that calls a function. It's returning a double. Um, it's working visually, taking input. It's